Hi everybody, this is Shri Malik from Dotsway.com and today I'm going to talk about AWS Elasticsearch. We're going to talk about what is it exactly, how to create it, and how to use it. Now first, what is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch is a free open source engine which is used for um, analytic purposes and for searching your logs or the data in general. And talking about AWS Elasticsearch, it's just like Amazon, they have moved it, they made it easier for you as a service to create it in the cloud. And you can use it for several reasons, not only online for checking your logs or data, but can, you can connect it to your, to your cloud watch and use it for monitoring. Now, after creating the AWS Elasticsearch, you can have several ways to add data or connect it with your logs. You can use it by API and send bulk files or data, and you can connect it using any of your codes to do it automatically. Also, you can use it with the log stash, with the cloud watch also. You can connect it with the cloud watch and directly you can have a streaming of the logs. You can use a lot of third-party plugins with that AWS Elasticsearch. Like for instance, I've used once Amazon S3 River plugin, which that connect the S3 to the AWS Elasticsearch. With the basic commands to like curl, you can add a lot of indexes, modify it, and delete it. Now let us start and create the Elasticsearch service. First, log into your AWS console and search here for Elasticsearch. After opening the Elasticsearch, you're going to have the option to create a new domain. Just put the, the domain name that you want and let's call it, for example, Dotsway2. Then it's going to ask you for the version that you want to use. I'm going to check and use the latest. And again, since it's a service based on Elasticsearch, it's giving you the option to choose what version you want. Here you're going to have the option of number of instances that you want to use based on the performance, the loads, and the number of files that you're going to have. Since it's a testing tutorial, I'm going to use one. And from the instance type, like any of the other services at Amazon, you can check what type, what hardware configuration that you want. And I'm going to choose the small one. Usually you need some dedicated masters or dedicated nodes to handle your logs and your files. But since it's again tutorial, I'm not going to check it. The zone awareness is something similar to the multi-AZ with RDS which simply it means like it's going to have a copy of your AWS Elasticsearch in different data centers along the region that you're using. Now this is the type of the storage that you want to use. Either it's going to be root in the instance or an EBS. For the EBS for volume type, you can choose either the general purpose ones or again, if you have a load and you are concerned about the per performance, you can use the per provisioned IOPS. The number of the uh, or the volume size is going to be 10 per each instance. So if you have two instances here and you have 10 gigs, then it's going to be 20. They do automated snapshots. So it's going to affect the performance somehow. It's not going to lead for a downtime, but it's better to choose a time that you know that there are no customers or you are not using it. Then you need to attach a policy to that Elasticsearch. 
For that policy, this one which is going to show which users and what instances can connect to the Elasticsearch. For now, I'm going to use something that it's open to all the domain from any IP, which is not for sure recommended for production. Then it's going to apply the JSON format policy, which you can edit later. After that, it's showing you the review of all the information that I've got, and we just create it. Usually it takes about from eight to maybe 15 minutes maximum. And for the purpose of the tutorial, I've created one, another one earlier that we can use it. After 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna have that green text reading active. And there you're gonna have the endpoint, which you're gonna use all the time to connect, to add indexes, modify them, or anything. Now we're gonna to go to the next stage, which we're gonna to connect to any Linux box or any Linux instance that you have and try to do some basic commands. Now I've connected to one of the servers and I copied the node information in the clipboard. Let's start first with one command parameter for checking the health of the cluster. You can do the curl and then put the node and end the top with the underscore cat and then health question mark V. Now the node is responding and we know that it's running fine. It's showing the status is green, showing the total nodes, data and everything. So I always start by that command to know that the firewall is open and everything is running fine so you don't need to change anything in the policy. Of course, that policy is, we just uh, did apply it only for testing purposes, not to be done in the production. The second command is the way of listing the nodes in case you know the number of the nodes or uh, AWS Elasticsearch that you have no idea about. So it's showing here the nodes and if there's a master and the IP and everything about it. Now let's try create a new index and we put some data inside that Elasticsearch. Use the export, then the node name, and then you put the index here. So let's try by putting, for example, user dots way. And then you put external. And here you put the question mark pretty because they want the output to be in a, in a human format. That's something that's clean that you can read it or else it's going to come in one line. And then I did put here some JSON format information like the name is dotsway the type is website enter and it's there now it's created and show me that it's created and the index name is user dotsway now we want to search or list them and be sure that it was already indexed and added as a new item You just use curl again and you do cat and indices. And it's there, users dots way. Now we can go back again to the console and see what kind of changes happened. Going back to the console, you can see here in the cluster health, the number of nodes running, all the primary shards, active shards and everything. Those are the ones that we just added for testing. I can see here that user dotsway is there. Also, if you are a system admin or a cloud engineer, you can have the monitor to check what's happening 
from the coding side because most probably most of the time it's going to be connected to some application or something so you need to check the health you need to check the performance you need to check everything just in case you need to add more instance or anything else that's all what you need to know about the uh, elastic search thank you everybody and until we meet again bye